Hello, my name is Tracy Allen and I want to welcome you to Cooking with Some Friends. Hello everyone and welcome to Cooking with Some Friends. We are at my cousins, Bobby, in Minnesota. We're just north of the cities yep. and the city traffic was awful. Yes, it's, uh, you know, that kind of weather where you go up north. So yeah, right well, now. it is lake weather and, and stuff, so mm -hmm. anyway, but, but we're having a family reunion this weekend, and so I'm, we're really looking forward to seeing everybody, but we're going to make some different things where we're all together um, for our family reunion, and one of, or actually several of the things, we're going to do some different moonshine recipes. Yay! Yeah. Who doesn't need moonshine on a family? Especially <laughs> at family reunion. Um, so we're going to start with a basic one that this one is wonderful. It's um, apple cobbler or apple pie moonshine, whichever one, cobbler pie. And it's got some basic ingredients. And Bobby's going to dump those into our pot. And then we're going to put this on the stove and let it boil. Um, it needs to boil for... Um, quite a while actually so once it comes to a boil we'll sprinkle in some spices and then let it boil a little bit more um, once that that has boiled the full time then we are going to take the apples and mash them up a little bit um, and then it'll be ready to put in the jar so it's very simple okay. so it we're gonna start with um, apple juice and we have 64 ounces I loosened the cap okay. 64 ounces of apple juice Freshly squeezed. Yeah, freshly squeezed apple juice. No, we didn't put that through a press. <laughs> um, I made key lime pie, and Eden had to juice the key limes. Well, key limes are like this big, and she had to do it. two bags. <laughs> oh she wasn't God. very happy with me. I bet she um, wasn't. Oh and goodness. then we have 64 ounces of apple cider. Do you guys drink a lot of cider in the wintertime? I don't like cider. Oh, really? I don't. See, this is why I don't cook. I make a mess. Yeah. Ron says a messy cook is a good cook. Mm. So I must be one. He hasn't uh, ate my cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Um, okay, so we've got our juices. We need our apples. And that's two Honeycrisp apples Perfectly that she's cut. chunked up. You can leave the peelings on. It's so easy. Easy peasy. I like easy recipes. Yes, me too. And then we have a cup of brown sugar and a cup of plain sugar that we've measured. When she says we, she means she. Oh, we. <laughs> okay, so this is gonna go on, we don't add the alcohol yet, um, not until it's at room temperature. So this is gonna go on the stove and we're gonna bring it up to a boil and then we'll let it, sprinkle the spices in and let it boil for 10 minutes and then we'll show you when we come back. The apple pie moonshine, Bobby's going to take the apples out of the cooled moonshine, apple cider, all those things, the brown sugar, the sugar, um, and she's going to mash those up to get the last of the juice that she can. And then all we have left to do is add the Everclear, and we're going to put a cinnamon stick in each jar, dump this in, and then refrigerate it. And then we're going to try to avoid it. So I <laughs> don't be sad. Says who? <laughs> yeah, so we don't drink it. Okay, Bobby and I are back. Wherever Bobby is. <laughs> there she is. Um, and we're on our second moonshine. We have our apple pie moonshine. It's over. It's not quite boiling yet. Nope. So it needs to come to a boil. Um, then we'll add that nutmeg and the cinnamon and we'll boil it for about 10 more minutes and then we're gonna let it cool before we add the Everclear to it. Um, so in the meantime, we're gonna make some lemonade moonshine. Mm -hmm. and this could be dangerous because it tastes like you're drinking lemonade. It smells awesome. I know, the fresh lemons are great. So in our pan, in our pot, we've got six cups of just regular water. And to that, we're gonna add two cups of sugar that I've already measured. Troy, we just one bottle. Oh, pad for the chair? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I remember when you went to and we're going to put this on the stove to heat it and um, it's just going to create a simple syrup. So once that simple syrup has dissolved and all the sugar is dissolved in the water, um, then we'll let it come to room temperature before we add two cups of fresh squeezed lemon, lemons, which Bobby just did by hand. We she should was, have videoed it. Before. Yes, she, she was shocked she had to do it by hand. <laughs> Manual labor. Um, and then it will be ready to add two cups of Everclear to it and chill and it's done. Perfect. So. Oh, the family picnic's going to be so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to Cooking with Some Friends. Bobby and I are knee deep in different moonshines. Oh yeah. Yep. It's we gonna... haven't even tried it yet though. I, I have tasted these, but not all on the same night or the same day. So that would be interesting. It's the first time for everything. <laughs> so we have our apple pie moonshine. It's setting on the back burner. It's ready to cool, mash up those apples, and then dump the alcohol in it, put cinnamon sticks in the jars, and dump it in the jars and cool it. Perfect. It's done. Um, the simple syrup is in the big container for the lemonade moonshine, uh -huh. and the fresh squeezed lemon juice is there, and the Everclear that goes in that, and then it's ready to go in jars and cool too. We've been working hard. We have been. We should run our own still. <laughs> <laughs> no, not happening. Yeah. Um, but now we're going to move on to some peach moonshine, um, and again, moonshine simple to make. It's just getting organized. I never knew it was so simple to make. I know. It, it could be dangerous. Because it could it's so be very dangerous. I can make this at lunch. Yes. So we're going to start by mixing everything <laughs> in the pan. Um, it takes white grape peach juice, uh, 66, 64 to 66 ounces. So Bobby's going to dump that in the big pan. Special You're skills. doing so good because I always blurp it. You know how it comes blurp, out of there. Blurp, blurp, blurp. Blurp. Yeah. Um, and we were talking about the fact that you can hardly find just plain peach juice. You could use plain peach juice, but white grape peach juice works just as well. Um, she's measured out two cups of brown sugar. And she peeled and quartered four ripe peaches. And not a mess to be made. No. <laughs> and then we have two cups of Everclear. Mm, the, the good, good stuff. stuff. And last but definitely not least, we have a cup of peach schnapps. Mm -hmm. This is the stuff that... I always, made me not like peaches. Yes, I always thought peach schnapps was like a brand, brand name, oh. but different distilleries sell it. Yeah, but yeah. I always thought all peach schnapps or all schnapps was made by peach. Yeah, by or the by schnapps peach. company. Right, but it's not. Okay, so she's gonna mix those up really well, and I took your spoon. I put it in there. Okay. And then in each one of our jars, we're gonna drop a cinnamon stick. We're just going to do a couple jars at a time to, so we can just show you what we're doing. And she's going to put half a vanilla bean. And then she's going to put anywhere from two to four whole cloves in each jar. Do you like cloves? Okay, so if you like cloves, two, you can go closer to the four. But... It smells so good. So then all we have to do is ladle our... Um, peach schnapps and that combination into each jar and then we're going to put it in a hot water bath and it's going to take two hours in the hot water bath with the seal on. Thanks for joining us for this session of cooking with some friends. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel and find us on Facebook at cooking with some friends. Mm -hmm.